Okay, in this video, it is the next day. And for those of you wondering how the water came from the backyard, you can kind of see we're just all kind of come in down here and run all around here. And again, this dirt wasn't here originally um, when when I moved in. Uh, the, none of this dirt was here. And the, so the other neighbor brought this in. That really created a problem for the fence because you can see where it's actually a little higher in their backyard. So here we have this and our original or our first post that we set. Another view of that. And I need to figure out where I'm going to put my post here. So if I can figure out where I want to put the have the fence start here and I believe I'm going to. So here's what it looked like from the other day after I had poured it. But now it's dry. We've got a nice sturdy fence post. I can remove my remove my cardboard and stuff. And then uh, this looks like a post on the other side of it. So um, just remove that footing. The, that post would have been over here. Pretty sure. So I'm going to take and nail a 2x4 or screw a 2x4 into the fence and then um, put a screw in here because I'm trying to find out where I can put the center fence post I'm trying to figure out and again I just taken I don't know if you can really see it here but I just grab my you know fingers put a couple fingers together and draw a little X what I need so just kind of come down I'm going to measure over and center this post between the two um, between this post and the uh, and the fence where I put nailed the two by four to. And, um, and and don't forget that your lumber for your fence post, if it's an eight foot lengths, if if you, if they're eight foot long and that's as long as you can get it, then then the spacing between here needs to be shorter than eight feet. You need to be able to use your boards. And if that's the case, it's not going to work out. You're going to need to put another post in here. So um, I hope that makes sense. I think I had about 14 feet between the um, fence post that I have here and the other one. And you can just see here, I put a screw in here and I put a screw in the other um, board and got a string and then tightened it up here. And I do have a video on that. I'll put a link here on how to get a straight line with a string. Definitely a string is your best friend when it comes to building a fence. And if you notice this board, the post, it's going to be um, straight or basically um, parallel. The edge of here is going to be parallel to the straight fence going in this direction. And um, I'm going to have to miter uh, or cut a miter on the 2x4 to have it come into here. You can do it however you want. The purpose of the slideshow is just for me to put as much information into that particular part of the fence building process as possible. And of course, at any time, you can watch the other videos. You don't need to focus on parts of the project that you already are familiar with. So there's our X in the, in the ground there. I can take my string off so that I, it's not in my way when I'm digging. You definitely don't want stuff in your way while you're digging. And dig your hole, put some gravel in it. And uh, again, the string's off to the side. Pull the string tight again because you're going to need the string to um, check out to see where it is. And if you see what I did here, um, I'm pointing out my mistake. But if you see where I put the cross, remember how the string is on this side. The string is on the right side of our post. I drew a line down the center of it here. I should have drew a line over a little farther because the center of my post is going to be the center of this two by four, an inch and three quarters in. So basically what I did was I put my post in the wrong spot and I'm going to have to remove some more of the dirt here. Here's just a trick that I use. Um, and no, I didn't make the mistake so I could show, show you this trick. But uh, grab a, you know, some cloth, something, sh shove it in the bottom of the um, hole that you're going to be digging. That way when the dirt comes in here, you won't get it in the gravel or as much of it in the gravel. You'll be able to pull the uh, little towel up and um, when you're all done digging and then 
and uh, hopefully won't have as much dirt in the hole. So there it is, moved it over, made it a little bigger. And this hole here, I'm not going to use the cardboard trick on because this I would like this one to be a little stronger because this particular post is going to be holding back a lot of dirt um, from the... Uh, it's going to be acting like kind of like a retaining wall. And here's something else you need to be cautious of. Now, I have this board on top of the string. It's not, not a biggie. I'm going to put the post in and use it, but... It's not uncommon when you're building a fence to have a rake or a shovel or even a, uh, you know, sledgehammer having it laying on top of the string. And then you go to put your post in and you look and you realize that the string isn't where it should be. So always pay attention to the string and make sure that uh, there's nothing on top of it um, pushing it from one side to the other. So here we are. I'm lining up the bottom of the fence post and then... I'm going to level everything. Just another view of it there. Got it braced up nice. And try to put the braces to where they're not going to be in the way if you're going to use the two by fours. Um, if you're gonna put your railing in, make sure that your um, braces are gonna be out of the way of the railing, which you'll see here in a little bit. So here it is. I went ahead and cut the tops what, what I, where I wanted it to be here. And I can put the top railing on. And you can cut the tops with the string line. Just take the string and attach it to the top here. And then have it come to where you want it over here. And then you can mark the boards accordingly. And I don't know if I'm going to go into... I don't think I uh, videotaped that. I did videotape myself installing the fencing. I didn't uh, videotape like myself, I'm pretty sure, installing the railing. So if that is a problem, you need more information on that, um, leave a comment in the comment area and I will get to that as soon as possible. And you can see here where it's not perfectly straight. It, uh, um, you know, this board's sagging. If you want the sag out of it, you're going to have to somehow prop it up to um, get the sag. I'm not really too worried about it because you're not going to see it when the fence is done. Or I should say, um, you'll see it if it's too big of a sag. I wouldn't want it uh, uh, a too big of a sag in there, by the way. And you can always crown these boards, too. Sight down them and say, wait, I'm going to flip it over. And that's not going to work all the time, either. You're going to flip the board over, and it's just going to sag right back to the other direction. But if you can, um, you know, just grab a board, put it underneath here. Grab another board, put it underneath here. Build your fence, and then make sure that... Uh, something is supporting the center of the fence underneath it because otherwise it's just going to sag right back down. And with this particular section I am going to build the fence and uh, and then pour the concrete here for those of you. You can do it either way. You can uh, set the post, pour the concrete, and then put the railing on. You can set the post, um, put the railing on, and then pour the concrete and then install the fencing. So it's no, no preset plan. Do whatever you um, feel comfortable with there. And of course, I will put a link here to the process of uh, how I built the fencing. And it'll probably be in time lapse again. I will speed it up so that uh, you don't uh, sit there and I think the I think the to build this right here took me about 30 minutes, so I'll I'll have to really put that in fast motion there. So the fence is built. I'm doing a fence where I'm going to have the fencing on one side, and then the fencing on the other side in between the posts. You don't have to. You can have the fencing all on one side. Um, this is just a fence. Actually, I like building them this way. And uh, kind of uh, this is the way we used to build them a long time ago. And I don't, I don't see them building that anymore because it takes about uh, one or two extra boards per eight feet. And, uh, and again, maybe, maybe uh, you might not like this style. If you don't put all the fencing on one side, that won't be a problem. A view of it from the other side. So there's our post on top of the gravel. Now this is something you're not going to need to do if you take the whole fence down, um, but since I was just going to do it section at a time, 
um, I went ahead and figured out where the top of my fence post was going to be on top of the two by four that I was going to nail to the existing fence and uh, went over about 12 inches. I leveled across here and then put a screw at the top and I'm going to use this to measure over and and down for my um, post to put my new post in. So I got it going all the way over to here. You can see that there's a board here. Give you a close up of that. So it's about 12 inches over. And then the top of the, the top of the fence post is here. And uh, so I'm guessing that uh, I have it where I need it on the other end, but I don't have it where I need it on this end unless the other fence post um, over here is uh, uh, I haven't cut yet and it's got to drop down. So I'm not 100% sure what I did with that, but I had to move it over here to miss all of these boards or these braces that are supporting the fence to prevent it from falling over right now. So you might need to move yours over a little farther. This might not make any sense to you. Again, feel free to leave a comment in the comment area and I will see if I can provide you with more details, more information for what I did here. And the straight line that I'm basing it off of again is the retaining wall here. I want the fence to line up and be parallel to the retaining wall. 